Hello and welcome to the second video in my series of very short tutorials about how to analyze your flow cytometry data in R. This second video will cover compensation, cleaning, transformation, and a little bit of a data visualization. All the, all the necessary files and links will be found in the description. So first of all, in our studio, I will be loading the packages Flowcore, Flowai, and GG Cyto. So I'll be using the library open brackets Flowcore close brackets command. This way, I don't have to type in Flowcore colon colon and then the command every single time. I can just type in the command. So I will highlight the rows and press Control Enter. So how do we get some help and understand what we're doing? The best way is to use the documentation within R. To do this, you use the question mark command and you can choose your um, command. So this is question mark v.fcs. And you'll see in the bottom right, it, it shows me the help file with all the relevant arguments and how to, and at the very bottom, an example of how to use this command. If I want to know about the package in general, I can use two question marks and the name of the package, so in this case, Flowcore. This will search all of the, the help. And here I have the top Flowcore, how to Flowcore. Click on this will take me to a PDF or to a help page. And this particular one takes me to a tutorial of how to use Flowcore. The other way to find help is to go to the Bioconductor page, click on help, click on packages. And on the left, we can search under technology for flow cytometry. And here we have all the packages related to flow cytometry. We can click on one of these and we have the documentation here, either in the form of HTMLs or PDFs or example scripts. So today I will be typing in most of my commands. So it makes it easy and you can see how we actually interact with our studio. So I'll load the file. This is again from flow repository like the first one. And if I want to uh, have a look at the file, I can type an FCS file here, press Control Enter, and it gives me all the summary information. Because I've looked at the help file, I understand that Floco has many other commands. One of them is the names command. So I can type in names, FCS file. You can see RCU is uh, auto completing my commands. And this gives me a list of all my parameters. I could use the command express an FCS file again and this will give me a summary oh, no, this will give me all of the expression data from my file it stops at line uh, 90 here just because if it did all 50,000 cells it would fill up my screen the common commands are each column which will look uh, which will analyze each column of my uh, flow cytometry data so each parameter so I could type in each call FCS file, which is the file I want to look at, and medium. And that will give me the median for each column. And perhaps the most useful command, or at least the command I use the most, is the keywords command. So this one gives you all the metadata from your file. If you want to look at a specific one, you can use the dollar symbol and type in the, the command, uh, the parameter you want or the keyword you want. For example, um, file name. And it will give me the keyword for file name. Okay, there's a lot more power available in Floco and you should read the help documentation to find out more. So next we'll look at compensation. So each uh, FCS file normally contains the compensation data from when you acquired it. If not, Floco can do the compensation manually, but here we will assume that it's inside the FCS file itself. To find out where it is, you can type in spillover, an FCS file, and this gives you the three spillover keywords that exist. And so we can see our compensation matrix, which sadly has no data in it, but it exists in this spill keyword. To compensate, I will create a new variable called FCS file comp, use this arrow command to tell me to tell the computer that I want a new um, variable and I'll use the compensate command from Flowcore. So I will be compensating the FCS file with the spillover matrix from FCS file itself. 
I know that the, the key the keyword is spill. So now I have made a new variable called FCS file, which is the same size as FCS file, but um, it is now compensated. Cleaning. So next we want to clean the data. So to clean the data, we'll be using a package called Flow AI. Flow AI is very easy to use. It has this uh, great command called um, auto QC. So again, I'll create a new variable called FCS file com clean. It's very important to give um, all your variables sensible names. And I'll be using the auto QC command, flow auto QC. And it wants me to input my file. Press control enter. And then we'll automatically go through all the parameters. And what Flow AI does, it looks for changes in um, instrument speed, changes in the signal intensity, and looks for um, cells that are outside the dynamic range. And this will create a new, a new variable called FCS file comp clean. So then at this time, we don't have 50,000 events, we only have 426,842 uh, events, sorry. And because it's removed the, the, the events, it classifies as bad. And we'll um, visualize those events later on. So after removing the bad events, we can now do data transformation. So all the data saved in FCS files is linear, but humans have a very hard time visualizing change uh, the dynamic range, I suppose, of um, linear data. So we want to move it into a logarithmic scale. On my FCS file, I can see that my first two, FSC and SSC, should remain linear. And the ones after should be logarithmic and time can remain linear. So I want to transform parameters three through 10. So to do this, we use flow core again. And what we want to do is produce transformation um, calculation. So we'll call this trans and we'll use the command estimate logical. I want to estimate logical of my FCS file comp clean. But I only want to do certain columns. So I'll add the command call names and then the FCS file again, com clean. And I only want to use the ones um, four through 10. Sorry, three through 10. So you see, I've put a comma at the start of this. That's because if, because it is X, Y axis and I want to be looking at the columns. So to look at the columns, I need to say that I'm ignoring the rows, which is why there's nothing before the comma. And now I'm looking at the columns three through 10. So that's produced a, a new variable called trans that has the calculations for the transformation. So now I make a new FCS file variable. We we'll call this, we add trans to this. And then I want to transform using transformation, FCS file, comp clean, and using the transformation that we previously made. And that will transform the file. So now we'll be able to, to visualize it and see the difference. And we will have a look to see what effect all of this has had. So to visualize the results, we're going to use ggcyto. If you want to know more about how to use ggcyto, you use the help command, double question mark, and ggcyto. And then over here, we have ggcyto top features, gating set, floor set. So if we click on top features, it gives us a nice introduction to what we can do in GG Saito. But what we'll be looking at right here is its fantastic command called autoplot. So autoplot um, guesses at all the parameters you want to show. So if I type in autoplot and then FCS comp clean trans and press control enter, it will produce a plot on the right hand side with all my expression data and histograms, because it's guessed that's what I want to see. I can do that again, but instead of using the transform data, I can just use the clean data, and we can see why it's so hard for, for humans to visualize changes in, in, in data when it's um, in the linear axis. On the plot window on the left, we can use these arrows to go backwards and forwards and see the difference between the, uh, the transformed and non-transformed. I can also export the data here. 
Other commands for Gigi Saito. Um, if I want to do a dot plot, I can use auto plot again. Except for this time, I will say I want my x axis axis to be, um, say, a Fitzy inside quotation marks, and my y axis to be um, p. Oh, my apologies, I used the wrong dash, and then I didn't, and then I capitalized my y axis. So as I said before, it's very, very important that you um, make sure you do the right capitalization, as I mentioned in the first video. If that looks a little bit low resolution for you, you can have the command bin and say 216, I don't know, and then it will create more dots depending on, on the size of the bin. And so this is useful. So now we can visualize what happened in our cleaning step. So we can use the auto plot again, I'll just highlight it and copy it. And I'll change one of these to time. And then we've got the plot of time. And we can see we have some gaps here. So if you wanted to do this in a flow set over multiple files, it's exactly the same effectively. So in a flow set, I've now got this my files. And I put these all into a flow set. And if I type in fs, I can see that my flow set contains 10 experiments. Um, if I wanted to look at the spillover, I can do this. So if I wanted to compensate, I can do spillover again, FS, but then I need to choose one. So this is the first file. This is the spillover for the first file. If I want to compensate, I just do the same as I was doing before. Compensate, FS, using the spillover. From FS number one and the spill keyword, and that will do, that will apply the compensation to all of them. Now you'll notice that I've only chosen one of the compensations. If you wanted to compensate each file comparing to their own, you'll have to use a command called FS apply, which is an incredibly powerful command. In flow call, um, but we're not going to cover it here. But it's something that you should definitely look into when you get a bit better. So then we'll just continue with exactly the same process. So we want to, if we want to clean, we do the the, the flow QC command, um, and then we do the transformation. It's all automatic and applied automatically. And that's it. In the next video, we'll look at gating, visualization, and statistics. Thank you and goodbye.